All right, guys, I uh, just want to give you updates on my portable generator 12 volt solar system. Here is um, my just a budget setup here. This is a Magnusine Magnum Energy. That's the inverter here. Um, is uh, MS12, MS2012 dash 20b and here is the battery here is a 3.5 kilowatts of solar uh 3.5 kilowatts of storage nissan leaf guys uh i just want to give you updates and it's a uh, bad weather we still don't have nothing hook up into this just charge the batteries and use them so yesterday at 11 p.m in the evening at night yesterday night at um january 20 20th so i charged this battery at uh, 23 hours which is uh, 11 p.m at night and i started using this system put the freezer and the fridge all the way this system has been running and i just came from work and uh it has been running all night and today look at the voltage we were sitting at 15.8 no 15.9 so if you can go back to the previous video um i uploaded before this one you will see the voltage and the system is running for 20 hours it has been running for 20 hours running refrigerator and freezer so when you set up a system like this, you charge the battery and drain them, bring them down and recharge them up again so that the, the you know, energize the batteries and all of a sudden, and look at the, uh, um, the first charge, we run all the way uh, to 17 hours of solar off grid. And um, now I uh, um, drain them, um and um charge them all the way back up and today is 20 hours i got from these batteries which is a 3.5 kilowatt 12 volt a lot of people say 12 volt is not efficient 12 volt is not thin but look at that a 15.9 and we only utilize a 15 only utilize um 0.8 millivolt it's not even it's not even a volt it's 0.8 millivolt 0.8 because we were point uh 15.9 yesterday so we took only 8 volt 0.8 sorry 0.8 volt so we are sitting at 15.1 right now we're pulling two amps running whatever uh, the thing, the freezer, the, the thing is the freezer running, okay? Uh, if the fridge started running, it takes a high surge. If you can go back and look at those video series, uh, we were pulling about 100 and when it started up, it's about 160 to 180 amps. It pulled and all of a sudden it drops to 5 amps. If both of them running, it's going to be, at a, um, after it settled down, it's going to be about 7, 5 to 7 amps. And if the freezer goes off and barely and just the, the refrigerator cruising is like zero amps. It's the first initial stage that it takes power. So, so this 2019 inverter has proved itself, a 12 volt inverter has proved itself that is doing an outstanding job. So I would recommend Magnum, I would recommend 12 volt. Don't think back in the day we used to say 12 volts is inf inefficient and it depends. But since we're running a lithium batteries, still the voltage is lower compared to a 24 volt, a 36 volt, 48 volt, 60 volt. But this guy can still do the job. So if you need a basic setup, you want a, a system where it's up and running, um, 12 volt system is cheap, no, not cheap. As people think, because it's convenient. You can get uh, electric bulbs, you can get other stuff right at the store. 
So guys, I just want to update you on this project and see how everything is going. Live here at the command center, the JW Solar USA. This is my 12 volt portable system I'm setting up here and a portable generator system I'm setting up here and in the near to come, you guys can see how everything's going to turn up really well. And I just set up everything at first so that you guys can able to see performing. You got to do a test before you trying to complete the project because if things don't work out, you can always redo uh, your stuff. But now it's already proved itself. I know exactly how much power I'm going to put onto this system. If I decided to go uh, 21 batteries here, that would take me complete uh, 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 um, uh, one and a half day or two days of power. Okay. Without solar at all. I like to build system that doesn't rely on solar. Thanks for watching.